The Department of Environmental Science and Policy is connecting science with society and science with policy. We're all about the interdisciplinary social science methods needed to understand how to do problem-focused scholarship and research aiming towards solutions that work for people around the globe. We work on many different issues from the climate challenge to marine and coastal sustainability, fisheries. We also think about cultural heritage in nearshore waters. And we support a variety of different student programs from undergraduate, masters to the PhD level. Our students, especially our graduate students, are engaged scholars from day one. They often are working hand in hand with leaders in these fields. So for example, we have students who are leaders in local government already, providing advising and directly partnering with agencies of government, but also community organizations in the process of research. I forget I'm a PhD student sometimes because <laughs> half of my work is outside of the lab. It's not on my laptop, it's literally out there. But then that also has to translate at some point into actual policy. So in my role on the Climate Resilience Committee as marginalized and vulnerable communities advocate, I'm trying to see how people experience heat in vulnerable neighborhoods, marginalized neighborhoods, and then how can we turn that into heat resilience policy that's equitable across the entire county. Our department is home to the Abbess PhD program in environmental science and policy. And this is a degree program that not only connects all of Rosenstiel in terms of what students pursue in their research, but it really connects the entirety of the University of Miami campus. These are students who combine different methods of research, pursuing research that is deliberately combining disciplines and bridging science and society. So we have students with incredibly diverse backgrounds, ranging from public health to meteorology to marine conservation. Yeah. I am conducting research on bonnet head sharks. Bonnet heads are the first documented shark species to exhibit sexual dimorphism in their head shape. Males have a more distinctly pointed tip than females, which are more uniformly round. I am further looking into their life history traits to be able to then help focus on the resources um, that they're reliant upon to help maintain a stable population size. So really we're kind of unleashing scholars who connect everyone across the campus and also oftentimes are working in partnership with decision makers and organizations far beyond the campus boundaries themselves. Our advisors and the faculty members here push you not to an uncomfortable place but outside of your comfort zone because that's where the good work is done that's where the good research is done that's where the solutions are found when we test the boundaries you think is possible preparing for the climate that we have right now and that we might have in the future or our increasing needs for sustainability requires a toolkit that is about interdisciplinary research and scholarship, but also that whole set of skills needed to bring this not just to a research lab, but to agencies of government, to nonprofit organizations, and into the private sector. What's so special about Miami to study, this is a place that is frequently referred to as ground zero for climate change because we have sea level rise, we have extreme heat, we're at the forefront of hurricanes. But then also, people here are so into making sure that this is a place that we can live for generations to come. FL 183. The Rosenstiel School has been a really inspiring place to be because I am surrounded by so many people who are also interested in the ocean and interested in learning about the things related to it. The different professors that I've been able to take classes with foster a very welcoming, um, supportive environment in the classroom and in the field. We are really about training the next generation of practitioners and researchers across diverse domains of environmental science and policy.